Hello everyone, it's me here again, Bart Hopkin, here to talk about more one-of-a-kind musical instruments. The instruments I'm going to be talking about today are weighted string instruments. These are string instruments in which a small weight has been placed along each of the strings. What this does when you put a weight on the strings like that, it, uh, it shifts the positioning and the frequencies of the overtones within the string sound. Um, it takes what would have been a set of harmonic overtones and shifts them around to where they become a set of inharmonic overtones. And this, this affects the string sound quality and it really opens up some interesting territory to explore in terms of the sound color of strings. Now, to give you a sense of what this actually sounds like, I'm going to use this thing here. This board jitter here is called Odeus. This is Odeus because it's the overtone demonstration instrument, ODI, and I'm going to be using Odeus to demonstrate these sounds. Here's your basic string sound, um, no weights. That's our familiar, clear tone quality of a string. Now I'm going to play another one of these strings here, but one that has a weight on it. But the weight has been moved way over to one side to where it has almost no effect because it's right up against the bridge. So here's a weighted string, but because the weight's all the way over there, uh, it'll sound almost the same. Now, I'm going to move that weight just a tiny bit along the length of the string to where it can have a little more effect. A little different sound. I'm going to move it some more. Perfect. Already, it sounds quite different. Those formerly harmonic overtones are no longer harmonic, and they're affecting the tone quality. Here's a... Oops. We're in a different world now. As you can see in this picture, I've made several weighted string instruments. A couple of these have gone off into the world someplace, but two of them are still here in my studio, and I'm able to show them to you in this video. This one here is a weighted string zither, has a whole lot of strings. It can be tuned and you can play melodies on it, even though uh, tuning for weighted strings is a little weird because all those, all the inharmonics all over the place have strange effects on the pitch sense. Nonetheless, on this instrument, you can hear pitches and, and melodies fairly well. Now, you'll notice that all the weights here on these strings are lined up in sort of a straight line and it might look as if I was very deliberate in the placement of the weights. Actually, um, the strings are all different lengths, the weights are all different sizes, they might as well be random in terms of their effect. And the result of this is that each string here has its own distinct overtone blend. This is kind of the opposite of what you'd normally try to do in designing a musical instrument. Normally you go for um, a completely uniform tone quality across the compass of the instrument. Here, each string is likely to sound a bit different from its neighbor. This weighted string instrument was made as a lyre. I actually wanted to be able to play it, you know, in the position of a lyre, but it turns out I wasn't so good at playing it that way, so I usually play it tabletop in a zither-like fashion. Notice there's this uh, terrible crack <laughs> in the soundboard here. Um, a funny thing about string instrument soundboards is sometimes when they crack, they just ruin everything. Other times they can crack and the instrument still plays just fine. So that, that happened in this case, and that's why I haven't gotten around to fixing it. Uh, so please ignore this catastrophic crack in the middle of the soundboard. So for this one, this lyre-like instrument, as opposed to the one we were looking at a minute ago, the weights are actually quite deliberately placed. They're placed in such a way as to bring out a certain overtone and place that overtone two octaves above the fundamental. So this is quite different from the random weight placement of the previous one. Um, the, having that overtone two octaves above the fundamental, it, it really reinforces the sense of pitch. The overtone reinforces the fundamental and you, you get a clear sense of pitch from it, even though those crazy inharmonics are still in there. Here's what it sounds like. A 
I hope you can hear that prominent octave relationship in one of the overtones there. This one also has uh, a fretted neck of sorts. This part here has uh, frets on it, has three strings running over this part. The frets are not inset frets, they're just old-fashioned strings tied around. So you can play these strings at fretted. These instruments I've been showing you, they were designed as weighted string instruments from the ground up. But you can put weights on strings of any instrument you happen to have around. You can put them on your guitar or uh, on your piano, as we've seen, or on a hammer dulcimer or anything else you might want to try. If you do that, you'll find that many things can work as weights to put on strings. But one of the easiest, which I recommend and a lot of other people have experimented with too, is fishing line weights. Not the sinkers, but these little weights of malleable metal that they, they use for the fishing line itself. Um, they go on the strings really easily, they hold well and they work great. So uh, if you get into that, then I hope you'll have a lot of fun exploring this really wonderful, very exotic world of inharmonic string tone qualities.